All right, guys, so I am uh, here making coffee, and I was responding to a good friend, Buster Spiller Craft. Uh, he had a beautiful write-up on the last post uh, as far as when I was talking about the nails and parenting done right. And at the end of it, I said, um, all love and respect. And when I say love and respect to somebody, I mean love and respect. And I've told many a male friend, I love you not love you, love you bro, not, I love you, no problem. And I did that one time here at work a couple years ago with a good friend of mine um, who I work with and there was a, a woman who didn't really know us all that well and she just looked like it was a lost notion on her. She's like, did you just tell him that you love him? I said, absolutely, I do. Why would I not express that? When do we get past this? When do we get past the the homophobic rhetoric where you have to tell somebody love you man and no homo attached to it it's ridiculous it's the it's the most childish notion that i think i've ever come across to have to premise that because what you're saying is ah it's it's mind-numbing and it's it's a scary rhetoric because we slip it into pop culture and use it as slang but it sets still such a dangerous precedence it's and uh, along the lines, not even close, but it's along the lines of people just calling each other their N-word, you know, because you're using it as some sort of term of endearment, but you're overlooking what the history and the pain behind it means. So behind, you know, calling somebody your N-word or saying no homo or this or that, like there's just so much pain behind what somebody else had to go through. And when we, when we have love in us, why would we not why would we not express that? Telling somebody you love them, and here's where so many people get things wrong. Um, it goes along the same lines of um, using there, there, and there in the wrong context. It goes along the lines of calling protesters rioters. Love does not equate sex. Because if it did, you could never tell your children that you love them. Otherwise, you'd immediately be some sort of you know, child predator. Think about it in that terms. Think about that when you spend that much time, those many laughs, that those many secrets was that you love them. Whether you say it or not, you love them. So now it's not a matter of if you say it, it's a matter of if you really feel it. And a lot of you guys would just have to not have any guy friends if that's the case. Get over it, get over it. Um, the ability to express, we have to be whole people, whole human beings. And to be able to do that, we have to experience a whole, well-rounded, you know, um, myriad of of emotions. And love is one of them. It's probably the strongest one that we have. Um, I don't expect people to pick up on this and be able to, you know, turn around and tell their buddy, you know, hey, I love you, man, or whatever. But if you're handshake hugging, it's an expression of love, even more so. So if you're that, if you're that fearful of being labeled as gay, why are you hugging somebody? And I'm not saying hugging somebody makes you gay. I hug people both hands. I'm not doing the handshake and hug with most people. But some of you are. And if that's the case, then so many of your actions aren't pairing with your inability to speak these words or your unwillingness. Tell somebody you love them. Get it off your chest. You'll feel much better for it. I'm going to keep it short because the coffee's ready. Have a fantastic night, guys. Peace, love, unity, solidarity.